Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday Morning Grace. Uh, my name is Reverend Carolyn McGee. I am here with Reverend Don Simpson, and we are extending our conversation about creativity and what a um, nourishing topic. You'll hear more about that in just a few moments. But as always, let's gather our energy. If it's safe for you, close your eyes, open your body, put your feet on the ground. And let's take in our three deep breaths. So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth for one. And two. And three. And as you take in those really deep breaths, just continue now at your own pace, but notice how your belly expands when you do this deliberate and conscious breathing. The energy moves all the way past your heart and your lungs and your diaphragm and moves into your belly area, the first, second, and third chakras. You're cleansing and renewing that part of your body too every time you take a deep and conscious breath. Many times we get into short breaths, shallow breaths, the breath of maybe a little anxiety. And just doing this simple shift of awareness to allow the breath to fully move in and oxygenate all of our body, to bring the energy of expansion into our belly. clearing away anything that no longer serves us, that's blocking us from complete connection. Just sit with this. Our angels and guides want us to be introspective today, holding space for each of us to receive exactly what we need to. allowing our own connection to guide us. Getting curious about creativity and different ways to connect. Feeling that energy of expansion and really creativity is expansion. the release of energy. Feeling more space in our bodies. And now bringing our awareness back to this time in this space, opening your eyes. And as best you can, continue to be aware of your breath as we have this conversation. And notice if you're chest breathing or if you're belly breathing. If you think about a baby, you can see their little bellies rise and fall because they feel safe. They're breathing naturally. But as adults, we can get into that fight light and freeze energy in our hearts. So good morning, Don. Good morning. Good morning. And um, what a good morning it is. And what a, what a great way to start it with your, as always, your wonderful channeled 
I guess we could say channeled because that's how they sound and feel your meditations. They're always just really amazing. So thank you again, Carol. You are welcome. You're welcome. So we are going to continue in on creativity and uh, we chatted as we usually do a little bit this morning. And um, I love the direction that your angels have guided us to move in. So take us, take us there, Dawn. So, and, and last week we also talked about our creativity. So this is kind of um, a continuation, certainly a continuation and maybe some things that overlap and we kind of talk about again, but one thing that I was talking about last week is a lot of my information and creativity comes when I'm in the shower. And last week, we also invited you to find out where your spot is to receive your best creativity. And we all have a spot and mine happens to be in the shower. And so this morning before our call here in the shower, um, a few things came in about this topic and about creativity. And one of the things that came in, and when it came in, I thought that would be a great chapter. Um, the brain in your gut, and it's great. It was great, Carolyn, to listen to your meditation about your gut and, and bringing us there and focusing on it. And and the, the other thing too that was coming in was, and we talked about this, that this is, today is the full moon. The, today, the day of this recording is the full moon. And the energy of that is, you know, as any full moon energy is about letting go, right? And then you're opening yourself up to the new moon, which is about creativity and starting new things. So there's, Really, the more we talk about it, the, there's no mistake that these kind of things came in today for us. But the brain in your gut, so what does that mean? Obviously, there's no literal brain like the brain we have in our head and our skulls, but there's some kind of conscious brain, some invisible energy that we can call a brain um, in our gut. And it makes more sense the more you think about it. Um, you know, when you get gut feelings about something, is it just a feeling of that? When you get a strong feeling in your gut about something, that's a knowing. It's a feeling, yes, but it's also a strong knowing. And again, when you really think about it, 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 it makes so much sense because it's a feeling that you can listen to. You can listen to that feeling. You get a strong gut feeling to do something or to not do something or to take this job or not take this job or to start this project or not start this project. So there's a reason we get those feelings in the medical field. They're also focusing, focusing on your gut health mm -hmm. and probiotics and saying things like your overall health begins in your gut. And so, and, and we invite you to do more research on that. I mean, certainly Google gut health or brain in your gut or, you know, however you want to research it, but do your own research and see what comes up for you. And, and, and that allows you to listen to your body, not my body or, or Carolyn's body or your sister. It's your body. Yes, there's a general sense and a, a, gen, a general meaning on um, what the feelings are in your gut, but for you, what does it mean? What does it feel like for you when you get a yes or a no or think more on that? What does that feel like to you? Yeah, that's really powerful. And, you know, there's there has been so many studies on the correlation with, you know, the, the balance of um, all the organisms, you know, and you talked about probiotics. And I think that, you know, that's a way that we can get inquisitive. You know, for me, creativity has so many other similar energies, right? There's, you know, inquis being inquisitive, being curious, that's part of being creative. And, um, you know, get inquisitive or curious or maybe creative about how you nourish your body. And notice, like, you, do certain foods help you? Do certain foods slow you down? Um, are you more connected to your guidance 
um, when you drink more water, <laughs> you know, I mean, we all know we need water, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, but just kind of experiment, you know, creativity is also being experimental and, and not ha having the same routine. It's breaking up the energy or shifting the energy, or as my dog will tell you, huh? <laughs> you know, that little bit curious and looking at the world in a very sh slight shift in perspective so that you can see the world a little bit differently. And, you know, that's what all of us who are creative, because we all are creative, we, we look at the world slightly differently. We, we want to bring in something um, unique that more reflects us and our own personal energy. Exactly. And as you're talking, one other thing is coming to mind as well. And this is something, Carolyn, that you and I have always done for years uh, is to take you know something on a piece of paper, words that you've written, and you put them on your heart and see how that feels. And, and the, the key is to not know what's on that piece of paper. So you kind of trick your mind so that you take your, your head out of the game and you know you can write um it, so if it's a job you can write the name of that actual company and write the name of another company and another company and then take them you know mess them around and, and put each one on your heart and see what your heart is telling you and and how your body's feeling well i was thinking we could also do the same with our gut because we do get strong guttural feelings about situations and so i invite you to to play that little game with yourself in your own personal life with whatever the case may be, whether it's your child's school or whatever the case may be, a course that you may want to take now or some other time. But kind of just put different things on these plain pieces of paper and put them on your body and listen to what your body is saying. And that's another way of getting creative with your creativity and listening to what your body is telling you now. Now, just because you something might not feel right when you put it on your body, it doesn't mean it's a no necessarily. It could mean not now. Right. A month from now, in the fall or in the summer, you might get a different answer because something is upcoming in your life. And of course, you may not be aware of it yet. And so starting it now would not be the opportunity time to you know, just to start on a new journey. Um, so, and it's also a good time to do, again, because now we're in the, the, the full moon phase and the upcoming new moon phase where we can use the energies of the new moon to open up to something new, to start something new. So use this um, pretty intuitive strategy. Yeah. You know, being creative with how you receive the messages for your own self and your own body. Yeah, and using all of your senses. You know, um, I've, I've mentioned before uh, that I recently moved um, to North Carolina, and I'm I'm still unpacking. I you know I'm still figuring things out, and um, I recently got this bookcase. So happy with it. <clears throat> But uh, it's th this place where the bookcase is, is the fourth place in this room. And I've only had it for two days. <laughs> so, but I was being creative. I was allowing the senses around me and the energy around me to help guide me to the optimal place for, for this. And um, the first, you know, I could, could just feel that the, that the, the room was unbalanced the first place I had it. And then the second place, I actually felt dizzy because the room was, again, unbalanced in, in a way where I, where I had it. Um, the third place, I just, it just, I'm like, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> so that would, you know, sometimes it's just as simple as, as that, right? And then all of a sudden I was standing in the middle of the room. I was closing my eyes and just doing a short, I want to receive. <laughs> And I noticed this, this spot here, which hadn't come into my awareness as an option at all. 
Um, so I put it there and I, I felt supported, right? It's like, I wanted to give myself a hug and, and you know, what, what are we doing? We're hugging our hearts, we're hugging our bodies, we're receiving sensations. And, you know, me playing in here, getting creative allowed me to energetically support where I, where I work, where I create. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just invite you to do the same thing, to have fun, to experiment and get creative with how you live in your homes, the food that you put into your bodies, how you decorate. You know, all of this is just so important for our energy and to optimize our connection. Because for me, that's what it's all about. It, me being able to have the clearest channel to my guidance. Right. And it's, it's practice makes perfect, but um, the more practice you do, the better and easier it gets in receiving what you are open to receiving at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Other things that were coming in in the shower this morning were um, the words inventive and imaginative. So as far as creativity, so, you know, and I know we talked about this last week, but if you look around your space, you look around your room, wherever you are, even if it's in your car, everything around you started in someone's imagination. And here it is, it's a thing, it's a pen, it's paper, it's a cop, like like this. Um, it's, you know, and it's so, it's about starting with the, the sparks that you're getting in your mind, in your imagination. What are you seeing with your eyes open and closed? What suddenly comes into your mind that just seemingly came out of nowhere? Yeah. Um, you know, what, what sparked you to think about, you know, something different, maybe something that you've never heard or seen before. Um, there's a reason you're, you're getting it. And so follow the path. And, you know, if you're not the person meant to actually do the work, then pass the information on to someone who is here to do the work. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, everything again starts in your imagination and that's, that's where we create. That's where creativity begins. It begins as a seed in your imagination. That's how it all begins. And you, you water it, you foster it with, with more thought, with more creativity and following through with things. And then, and then finally taking action on that initial seed that you've been um, watering. And watering could be simple. It could be um, start you know, writing things down and following the thought that comes next and the thought that comes next and the thought that comes next. And before you know it, you have a pen, right? So <laughs> that's really how it happens with everything. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's so powerful and you know, it, it, you know, I think it's, um, oh, who is the thoughts become things? I, the, the, the Esther Hicks, Esther and Jerry Hicks. I, yeah. Oh, Wayne Dyer. Oh, I, I don't know. Okay. I know that it's, it's a thing. It's a um, common mantra for someone and it's just escaping me right now who it is. So if somebody can put it in the comments for me when you're watching, <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. But it, but uh, it comes into my mind very often the phrase does because I want to be really conscious about what I'm creating. And, mm -hmm. I, and, you know, and I invite everybody to think about that too. It's like, um, you know, what are we focused on? Are we gonna focus on what we want or do we wanna focus on what we don't want? What do we want to create and bring into reality? You know, when I was moving down here, um, everything, I just felt so supported and everything was aligned and my angels really had my, you know, the whole process until I got myself stuck about the fact that I needed to replace the roof in my new home. And the more I focused on 
the problems with the roof, everything slowed down. Because I was focusing on the worry. I was focusing on what wasn't working. And to be honest, the whole deal almost fell apart because I was so focused on this one aspect instead of being focused on the trust of it all that my, you know, I am going to be supported. A creative way to, you know, to cover the cost is gonna come in because it always happens, always happens for me. And um, once I reset my energy, I literally had to sit down and meditate <laughs> to reset my energy, get myself, and a lot of tapping also, tapping and ranting, but um, I had to get myself into that, oh yeah, the angels have my backs. A creative solution will come in here. Something is going to happen. And as soon as I made that decision, everything opened up again. It's There's literally a energetic switch that opens and closes when we allow support, which I think, you know, creativity is all about support and that divine connection that we have. It allows that flow. So um, just, I invite all of you to focus on what you want, not what we don't want. And, uh, you know, I think especially coming out of the pandemic, we're starting to reemerge into the world. Um, there's a lot of people who are focusing on what they haven't had and the losses, and I'm not minimizing the losses. Some of them have been really, really deep, but let's focus on what we want to move into instead of what we don't want. Right. Um, and that just leads me to kind of continue on what you're saying, but bringing focus to, and your, your story was a perfect example of this, being in the right mindset, being in the right energy in your mind and in your body mm. to help create the next things that you're meant to create. So if you're feeling like your creativity is what right now, like on a scale of one to 10, like you're a minus two <laughs> because you're just feeling blocked and shut down and nothing's coming in and you couldn't create a cup of coffee right now, right? So when you're in a more open, like you said, Carolyn, when you, put yourself in a different mindset and it's not easy. You know, our outside circumstances certainly can be overpowering, um, especially right now for a lot of people, but it's about where you put your focus. So your roof didn't change, but your mindset mm -hmm. did and had to in order for you to continue on the process of buying your home that you so love right now and you so need to be at, um, but you can see, and that was a perfect example, how you almost lost the deal on the home because you were focused on the one law, you know? Um, and you put your faith in how it was going to get fixed and you know, it did. Yeah. And so if you're finding that you don't feel like you have know any creativity in your head and your mind in your body right now allow yourself to even if it's a little bit every day again I know there are people that have some awful circumstances that the outside world has has put us and you in and but it's about your mindset and you know even if you just say okay tomorrow I'm going to get up and start with a smile or um start with a thank you prayer, or, you know, be thankful for all of the things that I do have and not the things that I don't have or like that I lost or that I'm missing. Yeah. But bringing focus to the things that you still do have and really being honestly, truly grateful for that. That alone changes the energy in your body. And it's, you're, you're bringing focus to the, the abundance instead of the lack. Mm -hmm. And when you're bringing your focus to uh, abundance, guess what you're going to see more of? Guess what you're going to feel more of? And it's just, it's an automatic, your mind and your body is going to be open 
to receiving the messages that have been trying to, you know, knock on your door and have you here, but, you know, because you're in the state that you were in, yeah. kind of being shut down, you weren't able to, you weren't far able to even pay attention or focus to these things that have been going on around you. So again, bring your mind to the gratefulness, the things that are working in your life, the things that you do have, you do have a roof over your head, you do have, you know, food in your pantry and in your belly. So focus on the things that you do have. Again, it just will automatically raise the vibration in your body, which again, opens you up to receiving more of the creativity that you are and the creativity that's coming in could be the answer to the prayer that you've been having. Please, God, please, angels, please, 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 spirit, help me through this. But then we shut down because we're, you know, because we're sad and depressed and, and, and feeling um, lost, lonely, or you fill in the blanks. And again, when you're in that energy, you're not really open to receiving the answers, but the answers are coming to you. They, they're, you know, they've been reaching out to you, but you're just, you know, not in a place where you're able to receive again. You know, we can't stress this enough to just bring yourself to a place where you can open up enough, bring yourself to the gratefulness energy and the answers will come and flow. Absolutely. Sure. And and yo, know, there's there is never a Sunday morning grace that we don't talk about journaling. So here mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> this is my suggestion, and I know Don, you're going to be all over this one too. Is write down your gratitude list. You know, if you need to, you know, I I am a sticky note girl. You know, I I've got them, and I write down love them. You know, yeah. I even have. I even have my little chakra pile here, you know, it's like, nice. I'll pick the, the, yep. the, the note that I want for whatever's going on with me. But I write down my affirmations too. And I have them, you know, my, I write down what I want to focus on. I write down my monthly, you know, money goal. And, you know, it's not journaling in my journal, but it's writing down and it's acknowledging it and it's putting it someplace where I can see it and I can focus on it. And it brings me back to center. It brings me back to what do I want versus what do I not want? So no matter what's going on, if, you know, if I'm, st if I, I'm struggling with a client or, um, you know, my mom was recently in the hospital. Those are all things that I could could slide me into, you know, a worry. But I focus on what do I want? You know, I want to be healthy. I want to be able to go visit my mom. I want to, um, you know, manifest more money so I can replace my roof. <laughs> you know, I have, a, you know, but in the meantime, I'm grateful that the roof is solid, you know, I mean, we've had a lot of rain down here recently and there's no issues. So, you know, I just, I'm, I am expressing the gratitude and the thankfulness and trusting that the creative solution for everything is just going to appear. And when I get out of my own way, it does, it always does. Sure does. And I really like the idea of the writing things down. And, and like you said, Carolyn, we, every week we can't go without talking about journaling and writing things down because, you know, when, again, when you get in the world and, and your external circumstances can kind of bog you down and, and, and that's where your focus is, you have your, whatever source of paper you use to write down and journal the things in your life that you are grateful for. It's mm -hmm. certainly something to keep by your bedside and, you know, take it out when you, um, you know, need to be reminded of that and you need to start your day in that mindset. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's so important. I remember when I was first starting this journey, uh, I don't even remember what it was a long time ago. Right. Um, I would put the sticky notes on my, on my mirrors. So every time I went into 
the bathroom, I, you know, in the morning, the first thing I would see would be my, my affirmation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, so I would remind, constantly reminding myself to stay in that energy of gratitude and possibilities. So, you know, it, and it was a creative solution that, um, you know, Reverend Elvia <laughs> said, you know, mm -hmm. you, you need to keep yourself focused and do it. That, try this. You know, I think part of being creative is trying things, experimenting, seeing what works and doesn't work and, um, and, and being joyful and playful around it, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Put those sticky notes wherever you need to see them, put them in your car, put them on the fridge, you know, put them, like you said, put them on your mirror, you're mm -hmm. getting ready in the morning, put them somewhere where you're going to see them and you're going to be reminded by the things that you really, really need to be focused on so, the angels just Move showed forward. Do you remember um, that we used to take the brown bags and used to have to put them over our um, notebooks? I think I'm a few years older than you. You might not have had to do that. But back when I was in elementary school, they'd send us home with this, the, um, the books, the textbooks for school. And at, we were responsible for covering them somehow. And we used to, uh, we always used to use just brown grocery bags and yes. then draw yeah. on them. And, and it's the same thing. It's like we got to be creative and we all expressed ourselves with whatever made us happy. So, you know, the sticky notes are the same thing. You, mm -hmm. Or, you know, put, put something around that, put artwork around that makes you smile or, you know, beautiful things that you know, make you happy to keep you in that energy of, um, of expressiveness and creativity and joy. Yeah, that's the key. It is amazing. And here we are. Time flies, doesn't it? it does. I know, as you and I know, Carolyn, we could talk like this for days. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I am going to get my tenants. I love that they're always supporting me. <laughs> they're always right. Yep. There. Yep. yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Would you like to start? Sure. I open my heart with deep gratitude and intend today to master my spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical energies. I am dedicated to my spiritual practice. I surrender to my soul's purpose through sacred prayer. I own my guidance. I live in partnership with my angels. I serve with a loving heart. I am compassionate in every moment. I trust it's all good. I allow immediate forgiveness. I honor my truth. I listen to the spiritual messages within my physical body. I express myself creatively. I am one with Mother Earth. And so it is. And so it is. Beautiful. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, we would love to hear your feedback. Um, if you um, resonated perhaps in your, in your belly with uh, the, the uh, creativity and the gut instinct and the intelligence of our bodies, you know, give us some feedback and, and let us know how you document things. You know, what are you guided to do? Do you like to journal? Do you like to color? Do you like sticky notes like we do? You know, uh, let us know. We always love hearing from you and you know, I do. have an amazing week and uh, blessings to everyone. Bye for now. Carol and I will see you next month. Yes. Bye-bye for now. Bye.